You know what always is a good feeling about this series from the first shot miss is that really... <laughs> God, that really sets the tone for any episode. Also, ass end of being sick. Welcome to Sand River, where this tank does not excel because on Sand River, a map with dunes, sand dunes, sand dunes. You have to have gun depression. That's something the Soviet tanks don't really own. So I need to expose my entire tank to shoot anyone back up for the Oho. Shoot the Oho, kill the Oho. Then you want to move up and then there's just a T95. It's 1v1. You against a T95. There's no way I will be able to win this. So I'll just back off and find another way. And that's the beauty of Sand River, which I hate by the way. Is that it isn't really a corridor map. If I see that one way is blocked, I can just go another way. Well, except if you're in the middle against that Martian, then there's no way you can move. Anyway, the T-30 just sat up there pretty, and we shot him. The Yudas gets spotted, and now what's a Yudas without shooting him? I mean, I'm a tier 10, of course I've got to shoot the tier 8. It's 357 for a reason. Make the tier 8 lives miserable. Shoot the T-30 again, and start moving up. Now, I actually wanted to go after the T-95, but I spot that 705... AFK, base, so I want to show them, because damage, damage is damage. God, that's an old saying, does anyone actually say that still? Anyway, we shoot him a second time, we actually hit him this time, I don't track him, but we get some spotting. And at this point, I'd rather have spotting than tracking, because it doesn't add up to each other. Tracking and spotting are two separate entities, apparently, when it comes to the mark. It's either tracking or it's either spotting. And see as if I got a lot of spotting and barely any tracking this game, I'm happy with what is happening right now. Even though I've got full health, I don't want to give that T95 the satisfaction of putting 750 alpha into me. So I track him, drive around, and then I'll actually finish this game with full health. If I'm not stupid enough to ram into him. No, actually, it didn't take damage. Yes! Full health. Win. 15-1. Let's move up in this mark. Ah, this map, the map with the fill, with the lake. Lakeville! Oh, god damn it! <laughs> yeah, so, you probably have noticed by now that there's part one in the title, and you would be correct in seeing that, because this is part one of a two-parter, which means that either I don't get the mark in this video, or this particular video would have been too long, or, 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 listen to this, this is the first mark, and next video could be the second mark. Keeping it, keeping it secret now, I mean, unless you skip forward and just have a look, and then you're just a, pretty much an asshole, because that's, that's how you ruin it for everyone involved, and everyone is probably just you watching it, unless you put it in the comment section, then you are a massive asshole. Anyway, this Yak Tiger <coughs> gave up, he, he pretty much just gave up. And then we have this V4. I have all the time in the world to just reload. The moment I'm reloaded, he turns around for some reason. Like, he's just, he just has that mod that shows the reload timers above, like, a person. So he sees it. I was reloaded. So that, you know, I would be able to shoot him again. And then, and then the next moment is beautiful. Right now, there's probably more damage to be done to the V4. But here I make the decision to shoot the RT. I bounce, and it's Skoda unloads two shots in me. If that... It's not a, ha ha, I don't know what is. But I get my revenge by not killing him, but putting a semi-decent shot into him. And that's the end of this game already. It's uh, very, very lakey. Hold it in. So wait, if I have been going up in the mark pretty much every single time, uh, every game to be honest, then it probably should be the second mark next video, right? Or this video is like super long. Because I'm not gonna give spoilers, I bounce off this batch yet. <laughs> like that is, that's pretty much the start of it all. And um, that batch yet gets up the hill pretty much unscathed. He takes one shot going up the hill while we're like with four tanks up here. Apparently, we all shot at the exact point before he decided to go up the hill. And because I bounced and didn't even track him, he didn't stop 
He just drove up. Artie decides to keep shooting me. My gun is damaged. I hit the rock for some reason. That's point blank in front of me, even though I wasn't aiming there. T-54 ammo wrecks me. I decide it might be time to run. For some reason, hit the AMX-5120, but it's too late for me. I am pretty much dead at this point, and I think it is safe to say that I am going to die. Pretty badly. Pretty hard. Pretty dead. And didn't get carried. <laughs> You gotta piss, don't ya? Ah! Hey, remember when uh, Wargaming said that they fixed Erlenberg, but in reality they just made it more of a hellhole because people camp on the A and K line? Yeah, so little happens this game because the enemy team just camps in the bottom left corner of the map, and when they finally see that we've broken through on the 890 line, that's when they push. Like, they were pretty much all camping here on K1, 2, and 3. And uh, this shot is fun. There's a bat chat RT. 440 damage, right? I have 440 alpha. I roll low, so I I don't like that. But for some reason, for some reason, people still think that, Oh, we need to cap. Ha <laughs> ha. Otherwise, we might lose. So yeah, that's how I drop in this mark for the first time in this video. Not the last time, though. <laughs> Hi, I'm having vaginal pain. Ah, wee oui, wee, oui. Paris, please kill me. Because I'm not even going to show you what happens. This oh, okay, here, here, I die. Fun, yay, good times. Do not touch anything, okay? I mean, you thought I could average like 4.2k in this tank to get the first mark? Nah, 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 nah. This was recorded ages ago on the 2nd of April. Which means that back then, when the 430U was still relatively actually really new, you had to average 4.1k to get just the first mark. I don't know what it is nowadays, probably like 3.5, maybe 3k, maybe to get the first mark. I have no idea, that's how long I really haven't been playing for marks in World of Tanks. But back then, 4.2k. Have fun, kids. Please kill me. But at least on the plus side, what we do do is uh, do do is win this game because this is one of the, oh fisherman's bay has also turned into one of those really campy maps with people just waiting it's stupid i'm a professional phone burner so seeing as this was all recorded about six months ago give or take a few days do i still remember any of these games and no, not from the top of my head. I cannot go back into my memory and think, ah, yeah, I remember this game. But watching back this footage, I remember that Paris game where I died like a slut. I remember this game, and I remember a few other games from other tanks, but I remember a very few games fondly, because either they were very, very good games, or they were games with medals that I haven't had earned yet. No spoilers, but those will definitely come up. And in this game, it doesn't look good. We're down 0-3, and that WZ was a snaky batch and decided to poke up and shoot me in the RE251 down there. Wasn't helping! And I was wondering, why aren't you helping? I see the WZ trying to poke again, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm not gonna let that happen again. I don't really care, because maybe the RU is scared because of that FE that was on that road earlier. And to be honest, the Persian can't really do a lot of damage, 240 alpha, and I believe, believe the WZ has 250, so I, I am relatively safe here as long as the FV doesn't poke. So I decided to check in that RU, and uh, <laughs> there's a reason why he wasn't helping. He's on his side, so that's different. The WZ puts a, WZ puts a shot into my butt. And I don't let it go unpunished. And then we go and defend our base against the T-25 Pilot 1. Who has decided to move up. Because we're still down tanks. And as, as a tier 10, I have a feeling that I probably have to do pretty much everything in this game. We kill the Pershing and then decide to move back to our own base. Because that's pretty much where the rest of our team is. Unless... No, never mind. The RH just died. I want to kill this 257. And luckily, he's firing high explosive for some reason. So that's cool means I also have to reload over him. He does 
what was it, 56 damage to me and I kill him. So now, the V4 and I are left. He defends our base, I defend our backs. He shoots the Type 4 and I'm thinking I can go in for the kill, but instead the FV pokes out and I bounce and that V4 doesn't want to sit out into the open, but that does mean he is now in view of that pattern. And this E100 is very, he's a very secure boy, but he died. And V4 died. And I am one versus five. And I'm scared. The Type 5, for some reason, is using the AP gun. If it wasn't the HE gun, I probably would have died very quickly. I would have been tracked, and that FV would have probably then shot and killed me. That FV, I'm lucky, hit the house. I reload and shoot the lower plate with heat, because I'm a heat kind of guy. The pattern decides this is the time to move in. Probably should have done that earlier. Bounces? I don't know. And I kill him. Now the FE is the only one left that is an actual threat. Because right now I'm thinking I'm pretty safe from artillery. Unless the artillery moves up to somewhere next to the FE below that hill. Or behind me where the pattern came from. But I cannot know that right now. The main threat is that FE. Now he doesn't have a shot on me. But his forehead is kind of big. And he's trying to get that shot in. But he knows the moment he pokes. He dies because it's such a big tank. So I'm thinking, and I'm gonna just move up a bit so I can see that Mahusif five head shoot and kill him. What was once a one v five is now a one v three. I pull back because Artie is a scary boy. <coughs> and after waiting long enough, I find, after moving up as well, the M4043. And you know how you get shaky hands and you just want to like end it and you really want to make sure that you kill them. I don't know why I moved up and made sure that I didn't have a shot. I could have probably, like, mucked around a bit behind that wreck. So the M40 wouldn't have a shot. I don't know where the M53 is. So I am going to sit in his own base. In cap. But look at that. Look. I know where that artillery is. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner. He stays in cap. I know exactly where he is. Guess what? This was my very... Very first Call of Banoffs medal ever. And that's why I remember this game. Try to relax your anus. So after a great ending, well, it was not a good game, but it was just a good ending, we get Ensk. And we go down the 8 9 line, and there's literally. Nothing there except for D54 Lightweight. So we have to move on. And because our team is super spread out and the enemy team isn't, they decide it would be best to come back to their own base and defend it. Well, this is where I'm kind of in the shit because our Fosh and Judas, I'm not sure how effective they are from there, but they are not really effective when it comes to saving my white ass because I killed a scorpion and I put a shot into the T100 light tank. But from that point onwards, it is just kind of too late for me. Though Object 140 does drive in and kills the T49. The T100 and the Object 140 all put a shot into me. And there's not enough support. There's too many enemies here. It's just not good enough for me to be able to survive. Now, I bounce a shot from the 140, but the T100 LT still comes in and kills me. <laughs> His cock, thick and rock hard. Okay, that was maybe a bad game after a good game, but that happens. That is World of Tanks. Not everything is great. So this means that we'll just have to continue on, carry on. It isn't the end of the world. So that T44-100 is the bane of my existence. I didn't know you can go down so far there and still be able to come back up. So which means that I'm too aggressive towards him. The grill shoots me. The T100 actually pens me once out of the two shots. I move up and I find an E75, but after that I move back again, I see the grill. And that T100 actually came all the way around to come shoot me. And right now I'm surrounded. I don't know what the hell this WZ14 is doing, but he's certainly not helping me or this dead pattern. And that T44-100? Literally, I want him to die, but instead, I die. 
And that's why I literally just auto four out of all the tanks. I wasn't going to deal with this shit. We were going to lose this game. We were going, I was going to go down in my mark significantly and I just quit. But at least I still got my color panels medal.